Joining me now is Larry Kadisco. He's Osterweiss Capital Management's co-chief investment officer. Also with us is Paul Meeks. He's Independent Solutions Wealth Management Portfolio Manager. Uh, two great guests to have on this discussion. We appreciate it, guys. And Larry, I'll start with you. I hope I didn't overstate <laughs> your thoughts on Intel there, but I know you're a big fan of what AMD's been uh, up to. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Um, no, you didn't overstate it. I think that the news that's out with uh, Intel looking at global foundries is an ex almost explicit acknowledgement that they don't think they're going to regain technology leadership in semiconductors. They're looking at a, you know, spending a lot of money on a lower margin business, and I, I think it points to a, a, a significant pivot in their corporate strategy that, again, is an acknowledgement that there are a number of other players out there that uh, are going to maintain a competitive advantage against them for quite a while. First and foremost, AMD, which you call the Intel Slayer, say it's been validated by adoption cycles at Amazon and Google. I just, uh, Paul, before we move on from this topic, want your thoughts on Intel, because I think you also think it's coming from a place of desperation, but would you own the shares if they did a deal like this? I wouldn't, because I agree with Larry. This smacks of desperation. And in one sense, I would welcome the fact that they're finally throwing in the towel and admitting what they've needed to admit for a long period of time, no surprise, under new management. But the other thing I would push back on, Kelly, is this is an awful expensive deal for manufacturing technology that is not necessarily state of the art. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.